people. We have 45 minutes of yoga together today. My name is Marian and we will get started in a seat. Sitting in um, a kneeling position if you can. If your knees give you a hard time, please sit any other way that feels comfortable for you. And this goes for the whole practice. Always trust your, your inner teacher. I, I am your external teacher for now, but your most powerful teacher is inside of you. So always listen to that. Now, once you found your seat, close your eyes and bring your hands into your navel center. And take some time to feel into that area of your body. The navel center, it's your powerhouse, your self-determination, your self-trust. And it radiates out confidence. It brings harmony and peace. And the mantra associated to that area is called Ram. Now you can chant internally that mantra Ram a couple of times. Take a breath in and then chant Ram for yourself on the inside as you breathe out. And every time you do that, breathe into the chest area, sitting up nice and tall. Every time you breathe out and chant, navel to spine. Breathing into the chest. Ram, exhale, navel to spine. And then do this a few more times for yourself. Bringing your awareness to your navel. Okay, take about three more breaths. As you allow yourself to quiet on your mat to arrive to ground yourself and you might feel a sense of sweet contentment like a blanket over your body just hear simplicity breathing moving your body around now, when you're ready, let's blink your eyes open, release your hands from the navel, and then we make our way up onto our shin bones. So we rise on up, reach the arms overhead, take a deep breath in, circle your arms wide as you empty navel to spine, sit back onto your heels into child's pose, hand to your heels. We do this a few more times, rise on up, lift your arms, breathe into your chest, into your child's pose, navel to spine, as you empty the breath. Go like this for a few rounds. In to rise. Exhale to curl back into a tiny little ball. Three more times for yourself. Into the chest. Exhale to the navel. Do one more round for yourself. When you're done, reach your arms in front of you and bring your knees wide out to the edges of your mat, your big toes together to touch. And then go ahead and walk your hands over to the right side. Let your forehead drop heavy onto the mat. And then feel this beautiful stretch all along your left side. Keep your left hip heavy down. And then take two more breaths. Notice when the mind wants to speed up and rush. Can you slow it down? And then take it over to the other side. Keep your right hip heavy and take three more breaths. Okay, just feeling the ebb and flow as the breath rolls in and out. 
the hands come back to the front, rise up into all four, reorganize your knees underneath your hips. Now from here we go into downward facing dog and we do this for the count of four. So before we go there, take a deep breath into the chest. Exhale, navel to spine. Keep that engagement. Take one more breath in, tuck the toes under, and then go to downward facing dog for the count of four as you empty. Three, two, one. Breathe in here fully. Press the palms, energize your arms and your legs. And for the count of four, lower the knees down to the earth for three, and two, and one. Take a deep breath in. Navel to spine, down dog for four, three, two, one. Breathe in. Lower the knees for four, three, two, one. Do this one more time. Breathe in. Navel to chair, navel to spine as you empty four, down dog, three, two, one. Breath in. Lower the knees for four. Three, two, one. Breathe into the chest. Navel to spine empty. Down dog. Four, three, two, one. Now stay in your downward facing dog for a bit and commit to stillness today if you can. Feeling your palms grounding and your whole body alive and filled with air. Breathe into the chest. Navel to spine, empty the breath out. Now rise your heels high, bend your knees, look forwards, walk your feet up towards your hands. Bring your big toes together to touch, take a half the lift as you breathe in, slide your hands up your shin bones, alternatively cactus arms if you want a stronger practice and get strong in your upper back. Breathe into the chest. Navel to spine empty and forward fold, release completely. Two, three breaths here, just to hang loops. I recommend quite a generous knee bend. So you can truly rest your torso onto your thighs. Good. Now empty your breath out. Rise up to standing. You can reach your arms overhead as you get a little taller. Hands to your heart center, empty the breath away. Now release your arms, close your eyes and bring the mantra Ram back into your awareness. This mantra, this humming sound of Ram, which connects you to your navel center, to your powerhouse your trust, your self-determination, your most illuminous self. Good. Now from here, open your eyes, reach your arms up high, take a breath in, bend your knees, forward fold, as you empty the breath, navel to spine, drop your head low. Half the lift on the inhale, long spine, step your left leg to the back of the mat and drop your knee down to the earth. Please pat your knee up if you feel any sensitivities there. Now press your right heel down, reach your two arms up for Anjaneyasana. Bring your awareness to your tailbone. Lengthen your tailbone down to the mat and lift the crown of the head higher, your fingertips high. Take a breath into the chest. Navel to spine as you empty. Now release your hands down to the mat. Pick your back knee off the ground and reach your right arm to the front. Eyes, let them be settled to one point. Ground the right heel, reach your right arm up, take a breath in. Keep uncircling your right arm back and down into a pyramid pose. Straighten that right leg. Take a breath in here, ground your right heel, right heel back so the hips are square. Empty the breath, navel to spine. Now re-bend into your front leg, reach your right arm forwards and up as you fill your body with air. Keep on moving, right arm back and down as you empty the breath into pyramid pose, straight right leg. One more time, 
bend, reach your right arm up, back and around, pyramid pose. We bend your front knee, look forward, and then step your back foot up to the front of the mat. Rise to standing, get tall. Now chant the mantra Ram internally as you bring your hands to your heart center. Reach your arms high, fresh breath in. Bow as we fold. Half the lift long spine. Step your right leg back and lower the knee to the earth. Arms reach high, Anjaneyasana. Now again, press your left heel down. Breathe into the chest, feel the expansion. Tap into your powerhouse, navel to your spine. Release your hands to the ground. Back knee off the floor. Reach your left arm forward. Now make the circle in the air. Left arm up, back and around to your pyramid pose. You do this two more times. Reach up, back and around, pyramid pose. One more time, forwards and up back and down. Let's re-bend into the front leg, look forward, and then step your back foot up to the front of the mat. Rise to standing, energizing breath in, chant the mantra Ram internally, hands to your heart center. Self-trust, this is the end of the area of self-doubt. Reach your arms up high, breathe in. Forward fold and empty flush your system. Half feel it, breathe into the chest. Step back to high plank, navel to spine as you empty the breath away. Pause, strong body. Your eyes to the front of the mat. You never want to look back to the toes. <laughs> Always want to look forward to a bright future, to the reopening so we can see each other again. I'm very much looking forward to that. <laughs> Good. Now, breathe into the chest area, navel to spine empty, please modify this by lowering your knees to the ground, shift forward and then come all the way down to the mat. Interlink the hands behind your back. Now if you can lengthen your arms, lift up into a baby Shalabhasana. The toes are heavy, the chest is light, lifting off the ground and then take two breaths here. Shoulder blades squeeze together. Your chin tucks slightly into your chest so the back of the neck is long. Empty the breath, release your hands underneath your elbows. Take a cobra and then into downward facing dog. You can use your knees, come back to your downward facing dog. Take a breath, empty. Lift your right leg up to the ceiling. Make this nice and strong so you feel your right glute switching on, your right leg as extended as you can. Lift your left heel high, take a breath in. Navel to spine as you bring your knee to an easy tiger. Look forward, step your foot up to the front. Stable foundation. Reach your right arm forwards and up like we did before. Back and around into pyramid pose, one time only. Feel the hamstrings. Rebend into the leg, look forward, rise up into a crescent lunge. Back knee slightly bend, so you can lengthen the table down. Fix your eyes and steady your breath. Breathe into the chest. Empty navel to spine, open twist, left arm forward, right arm to the back. You come into the depth of the shape if you're feeling it today, but notice that the depth is never the ultimate goal in this practice. It is rather the receiving of the energy of the shape, how it feels in the body. So it's never a performance. Now take one more breath in, reach fingertips away from one another, empty, take your right hand down and up, warrior two as you empty the breath out, good, let's find your eyes, 
the connection to the mat, and then find your shape. Breathe into the chest. Navel to spine empty. Let's reverse your buya. Try to stay low in the front leg. Radiate the fingertips back behind you. Cuddle two hands down to the earth. Option for a low plank. Or skip it and come straight into a down dog. Now you can lift your right leg off the ground if you're looking for more. Shift slightly forward and lower halfway down. You can come all the way to the ground if you prefer. Upward facing or take your cobra shape. Outer shoulders back, expose, uh, shine your heart forward. <laughs> Downward facing dog, navel to spine as you empty. Let's keep on moving, left leg to the sky. Easy tiger, right heel lifts, knee to the north. Look forward, step your foot. Left arm to the front and up. Empty the lungs, back and down into pyramid pose. Left hip back. Rebend to rise into your crescent lunge. Feel the shape. Your breath. The presence you cultivate by tapping into breath awareness body sensations. Good, let's open the wings to the left into your open twist. Explore and play around with the depth. Back off if you need to. Take your left hand down and up. Warrior two, open hips, arms wide. Good, just feel the shape. The connection to the ground, your two heels, press them down, hug them in towards one another and energize your left glute. It helps you for pelvic stability. Let's reverse your warrior, left fingertips to the back. Couple hands down to the earth, come back to down dog or take your flow, high to low plank. Left leg can hover in the air as you come to your low plank, eyes to the front. Upward facing all your cobra, enjoy the breath in. Notice if you want to rush that, downward facing dog as you empty. Beautiful, let's roll with that, lift your right leg high, breathe in. Easy tiger, knee to your third eye. Step your foot to the front. Reach your right arm forward and up. Back and around. Pyramid pose. Weave and rise, crescent lunge, navel center strong. Open twist to the right. Energize your left glute. Now, right arm down and up, breathe in. Warrior two. Reverse. Two hands to the earth, low plank. Upward facing. Downward facing. Left leg high, awareness to the navel. Tiger, knee to nose. Step your foot, reach left arm forwards and up, back and around, pyramid. Weave and rise into your crescent, open twist to the left. Left hand down and up, breathe in, warrior two, open, reverse, hands to the up. Choose your flow. I need you in down dog. Low plank if you prefer. You can always do it on your knees. Cobra or upward facing. Strong legs. Strong core. Downward facing dog. Let's stay here for breath in. Navel to spine and empty. Right leg to the ceiling. The add on a little bit. Knee to nose. Step your foot. Right arm creates the circle high, back and around, pyramid. Rise on up, crescent lunge, take your time. Core on, open twist. 
Now you here you have a choice. You can keep on going like we did, come into crescent, or take your back bend, right hand to your lower back, left arm high, and then look over your right shoulder, lean back. If it's for you, take a breath. Warrior two, open. Reverse your warrior, just watch your breath changing. This time, cut with your left hand underneath your left shoulder, side plank, step your right leg on top of your left. Modify this if you need to, lower your left knee underneath your left hip. Wherever you are, beautiful. If you feel strong, you have more to give today, then lift your right leg off the floor. Lift your left hip up to the right hip, press into the left hand, and then imagine like helium balloons, helium balloons attached to your right finger, making you lighter. Take one more breath in, down dog, or your low plank with your option, right leg hovering in the air as you do sit down. Ascend, upward facing, down, back facing, left leg high, sweep it up, tiger curl, good, step your foot through with precision, left arm circles high, empty the breath, pyramid pose, rise up, shine your heart, open twist, left. Now stay here, take your back bend if you like, left hand lower back, right arm reaches up. Stay here, look over your left shoulder, warrior two, open. Reverse, breathe in, carpel your right hand underneath your right shoulder, tap into your own powerhouse, side plank, left leg on top of your right, you can hover the leg straight away if you wish. Good. You have three breaths in here. And let's not get lost in the glory of the shapes. Never sacrifice your integrity or inner wisdom. Be your most powerful self and just watch all the shapes. Yeah, watch it all, especially your right arm. <laughs> Good, one more breath in, lift your hips a little higher. And then you twist to your low plank or skip. Up the facing, your back bend to your downward facing dog. Close your eyes. Feel your breath. I definitely feel it. <laughs> Good. <sighs> Good, we have one more round of standing poses. Lift your right leg up to the ceiling, take your time. Take your easy tiger to your nose, look forward and then step your foot up to the front. Let's rise straight away into your crescent lunge. Let go of any self-doubt. Self Bring your hands to your heart center, lean forward. Now straighten that back leg, energize the left gluteal core and twist to the right. Up to you if you want to do a hovering twist or if you have the range, hook the left elbow outside of your right thigh. And then notice if your left shoulder wants to creep forward and tell you like, if my left shoulder creeps forward, I am in a deeper twist. But no, 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 no. <laughs> it just means your left shoulder creeps forward <laughs> and you're not in a deeper twist. So be okay with your left shoulder, peel it back, sacrifice the depth, but you more in an integrity in the shape. One more breath in. Empty the breath. Now strong, press your right foot down, rise on up, trust your inner self. Warrior two, open through your wings. Let's not stay here. Reverse the warrior, straighten the front leg, reach your right fingertips back into your side angle, re-bend your front leg, left arm overhead, and your right arm battle light on your right thigh. Imagine you're holding the heaviest book in your right hand and you want to lift that right book up to the ceiling. Yeah, that's how strong it is. Good. Right shoulder back, two feet on the earth. How is your breath? <laughs> and if your mind for any reason tells you like, enough, I don't want to be here and tries to talk you out of the chain, Chant a mantra, Ram, internally to yourself. 
Ram, Ram, Ram. Inner trust, inner teacher, the most powerful. Let's take one more breath in. As you empty, look down, release your hands to the earth, and then step back to your little plank if you are not over this by now. Good, rise on up to your downward facing dog. Left leg, sweep it high to your easy tiger. Step to rise. You're so focused and present. Hands to your heart, lean forwards, straighten your right leg. Be really strong in your innate stability. Now lengthen, breathe into your chest. Navel to spine, twist over to the left. And you know we are going to be here for a little while. But certainly not forever, that's the good news. Modification always knee onto the ground. Again, notice your right shoulder. For most of us, including myself, it wants to come forwards. You want to peel it back. So you are in a true twist. Take a breath in, length through the spine to the top of the head. Empty, maybe lunge a little lower. Press the left heel down, rise on up. Sounds effect help like, oh! Ooh, <laughs> yeti. We open. Let's reverse. Give that left leg a break. Straighten it, reach your left arm back. Rebend your left leg into side angle. Everything in your body is awake. There's nothing in your body that is floppy or soggy. Good. Are you aware what your right little toe is doing? <laughs> Not many people are. Are you aware what your right little finger is doing? Good. Your chest, reach it high, shine your heart, your left shoulder back. Take one more breath in and out. Look down, release your hands and take your step back to your low plank. Good. Up and facing dog. Absolutely not essential to float through these shapes to your down dog. Now stay here in your down and facing dog. You can come into a child's pose, absolutely. Calm your breath. Calm your nervous system. It's all good. Wherever you are, the shapes, the content in your mind, just let us step into the background and the mantra run into the foreground. So you're present and you are here. Good from there. Let's come up into a seat. Kneeling on your sit bones if you like. Again, you can sit anywhere you like. I demonstrate this for you and it's a practice I do every single day in the morning. And I share it with you today because I feel it's so powerful. So I demonstrate um, first time for you. So we interlink the hands back behind us. We look up, breathe in, and then we blast the air out like as we come forward, so we're blasting out energy, prana, any dust, dust any, any um, uh, pranic dust, or however you want to call it, right? And it's in essence stagnant air. And then as you're here and you blast all the air out, hold the breath out, tuck chin into the chest, hold the air out, hold the breath, navel to the spine, and hold the breath out. And from there, we take a fresh breath in as we rise on up, breathe in, plug the right nostril and air out through the left, cleanse. Breathe in through two nostrils, plug the left nostril, clean air out through the right. Now again, interlink the hands, breathe in, plus air out as you fold, and then on the second round, chin to chest, navel to spine, hold the air out, hold it out, rise on up, fresh breath in, block right, clean air through the left, breathe in, block left, air through the right, <laughs> I hope you got the picture, it's powerful, right? Good. Let's do this together, shall we? Now, interlink hands behind you, take a breath in, 
plus pranic air out. As you come down, hold the air in, chin to chest, hold the breath, navel to spine. Really lift the navel to the spine. Hold it, hold it. Rise on up, breathe in. Clear air through the left. Breathe in. Clean air through the right. We have three more rounds. Interlink hands, breathe in, close your eyes. Air, plus it out. Forward fold. Chin to chest, navel to spine, hold the air in. Rise up, fresh breath. Air through the left. In. Air through the right. Two more rounds. Interlink, look up, breathe in. Plus air, child's pose. Chin to chest, navel to spine, hold the breath in. Rise up, fresh breath fill into the chest. Clean air through the left. Breathe in. Clean through right. Two more rounds. Interlink, breathe in. Navel to spine, fold, plus the air out. Chin to chest, navel to spine, lift, fold the air in. Rise up, clean breath into the chest. Clean left. Breathe in. Clean right. Last round, breathe in to chest. Plus air out, navel to spine, chin to chest, hold the breath in, navel to spine. Rise up, breath into the chest, clean through the left. Breathe in, clean right. Hands into the left, close your eyes, take a deep breath in through two nostrils. Air through the lips. Now sit here and observe. It's powerful shit, right? <laughs> Feel the transformation, feel that change. Awareness to the navel, self-trust, self-determination, confidence. Let's come onto the back, into our bridge poses. So set up your feet so the heels are underneath the knees. Try not to splay the knees. Keep them tracked over your middle toe and then rise up for the count of four, three, two, one, lower down for four, three, two, one. Come up again, breathe in for four, three, two, one. Try to lower down as you exhale for the count of five, four, three, two, one. Come back up, keep the count of four, three, two, one. One, try to come down for the count of six. So we extend the exhalation. Five, four, three, two, one. And keep on going like that. Come on up for the count of four. And then try to extend the breath to the count of eight as you come down. Maybe try seven. And you go in your own time. If seven is way too much, just stick with four, five, six, seven. If you can extend the exhalation to the count of eight, you are more than welcome to do that. So keep on rolling with your rolling bridges, counting your breath, and try to extend the exhalation. This is how we calm and nourish our nervous system. If it works a little in overdrive, maybe bombarded by the outside world, who knows? the chaos in the macro, maybe a chaos happening on the micro environment. And whatever is happening in the macrocosmos or in our microcosmos, it's there to make us stronger, more resilient. Good, let's take one more of those rolling bridges, count the force, you come up, wherever you are with your exhalations, you come down. And next time you come up, you stay up there steady for about eight or so, or so breaths. 
closing your eyes. And tap into a place where there is no doubt. Doubt puts a full stop to our spiritual growth. Can you surrender? Let's take two more rounds of breath. You can interlink the hands, you can do anything with your arms, maybe even overhead if you choose to. Deep breath in into your heart space. And as you empty, lower yourself down to the floor. And then as a counter shape, hug your knees into your chest. Squeeze your lower back. Give yourself a little rolls right and left. Let's take a twist here. You can take any twist you like. I offer twisted roots. Right leg on top of your left, arms go wide. And then shuffle hips to the right, two inches or so. And your knees, let them go over to the left. The knee suddenly won't touch the floor for most of us. For me, suddenly it doesn't. Keep your right shoulder on the ground, more important, to keep your lower back healthy. Left hand on top of your right. And breathe. Breathe well. And a very dear teacher of mine told me a long time ago when I noticed thoughts of doubt creeping into my body, telling me like, I am not a good practitioner. Maybe I'm not focused enough, I'm not flexible or strong enough. Whatever you mind tells you, self-doubt puts a full stop to our spiritual and uh, growth. And the true practice is actually not the depth of the shape. A true practice is our willingness to surrender, surrender to the divinity, the ultimate divine. So we surrender and we tap into our navel energy, navel awareness, our self-trust, self-determination into our powerhouse. And then see where that takes you, the growth. Now let's walk this over to the other side, bring your knees in, your left leg on top of your right, take that little, little shuffle with your hips over to the left if it serves you, and your knees over to the right. Close your eyes. Awareness to your navel center, your most luminous self. This is where your inner wisdom resides, your inner teacher. And then notice how often we override our inner teacher. It's often to please other people. The only person to please, remember, is yourself. Stay in your powerhouse connected. a sweet kind of like stretch right <laughs> let's come out of that hug the knees into the chest and then rock up into a seat extend your legs out in front of you for Paschimottanasana today I want you to bend up through your knees a bit or a lot if that's what you need and then take the fleshy part away from underneath the sit bones more importantly take your sit bones back now reach your arms up high take a breath in energize your quads as you breathe out, navel to spine, and then come forwards for the count of four, three, two, one. You can just come to your own edge. Come back up for four, three, two, one. And let's come forwards for the count of five, four, three, two, one. Up for four, three, two, one. Breathe into the chest, navel to spine empty. Come forwards for the count of six, five, four, Three, two, one. Rise for four, three, two, one. Inhale, navel to spine. Come forwards for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rise for four, three, two, one. Breathe in, navel to spine. Come forwards for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, 
one, rise up, last time, breathe in, pull, three, two, one, full breath into chest, navel awareness, last time, come forward as you exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and you stay. And you simply surrender. Let go of the breath, calm. And simply allow yourself to be here in your body, in your forward fold. And I said it just a, a moment ago, the ultimate depth of this practice of yoga, it's never how flexible or strong you are, how advanced you are in the shapes, whatever that means. The ultimate depth of this practice is our willingness to surrender to the uncertainty, uncertainty, certainty happening in the world, the unknown, and to develop trust, and it lifts in our navel center. rise up and then we make our way into Shavasana. Just lower yourself carefully down, take your shape. If your lower back is sensitive, bend on your knees, hands can be on the navel, just because it was a running theme. And before I let you rest, chant the mantra Ram three times internally to yourself. Awareness to the navel. illuminates confidence, harmony, and peace. So we surrender to the unknown, to the uncertainty, the certainty. We develop trust. The ultimate shape of surrender is Chavasana. A couple of minutes here. some movement back into the body. Breathe a conscious breath into your bodysuit. Any movements that feel right for you to make your way up into a seat. Try to come up into your seat with as little distractions as possible to ground yourself in your seat. Feel a lightness with your spine growing up to the sun. 
and then place your hands at the front of your heart center. Take a breath in to the chest. Peel your navel gently to the spine. Place your hands onto the navel area. And then sit here in gratitude, in gratitude of this practice, in gratitude of this beautiful body. You can receive the teachings of yoga. You can receive and experience the human experiences we are meant to, to have. Sit here in your own powerhouse, your self-trust, confidence, and we sit here in, in our deep inner resilience. Take one more breath in. And out. Namaste everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful Thursday. This lovely summer stay and soak in the rays of sun. And I see you soon. Bye bye everyone. Bye.